the sweet science of boxing. Island Fight 70, here we go. We got Gavin, he's playing, playing a little defense, playing the back game to, to figure out Swindle a little bit, you know, welcome him into his world, little parries, a little moving, get, it, get his jab going. Definitely, Gavin looks a little bit more like water. Definitely a little yeah. loose. Looks, looks. Swindle looks. Swindle looks a little heavy on his feet, but he's bringing the pressure, man. The kid's a fighter. I know. He switches southpaw. Switch okay, okay, we switching back. Nice, nice, nice jab. double jab. Nice. I like it. Good defense. Good Swindle show. Good defense there. Very, very good patience. Nice, he's listening to his corner. He is trying to time that jab. Straight laser over the jab. One of the best cornermen in the business, Cam Naval. Yes, he, he, the, the, man, the man knows all about the sport. I've watched him, oh, nice punch. Swindle might be a little rocked. Oh yeah, he's a little, but he's still in there, man. The kid is a fighter. Action right in front of us. Beautiful nice two. two there by nice two. Anson. Nice jab. Like you said, man, the sweet science. Don't hook a hook with a hooker. <laughs> oh, nice. Conley might have got hurt there. This is a good round, good even round. 10 seconds. Let's see who steals the round here. Oh, Beautiful counter by nice. Anson. Nice. nice jab there by Gavin, though, to end it. Oh, nice jab by Anson. Oh! oh. Yes. That's been time. That's time. Wow. Like I said, wow. close round, but I think my man Swindle, the MMA fighter, <laughs> stole the round with that. Absolutely. Especially one of the most powerful shots of the round. Yes. And it happened at the end. And I, like I've always said, last 10 seconds, judges are looking. Watch this replay, guys. Both, both players, good shots all through the fight. All through the first round. But the last one to it did not show, but he definitely caught Conley clean. And it showed. And this is where I go back to the experience, guys. 31 to 19. Does Gavin know he's losing a round? Is, uh, can Gavin, is he going to ultra press? Is he going to get himself in a bad situation? Know that he's down one. Well, Anson's been here multiple times before. If I was in his corner, I would tell him, take it, be patient. This is your world. Still play the back game. Defense, counter him. He just got caught with a hard right hand. Counter that right hand this round. Because I'm, I'm looking at Anson to go back to that one two, man. Yeah, you show an MMA fighter something that works. We're going back. <laughs> We're going yes. back. Beautiful call there by uh, Anson's corner, uh, Cam, with a 13. Anson's, Lands perfect. Anson's light on his feet now, and Conley is looking a little, little heavy. Nice. This round is, is, is back and forth so far also. Nice. nice shot there by Gavin. Brock, at age 19, I still didn't know what I was doing on a Tuesday. Gavin at 19, under the bright lights of Island Fight 70. Beautiful packed nice arena. Count. I don't know if I can handle that pressure. All much, much respect there to Gavin Conley. Yes. Hey, man, I started it at 15. <laughs> And at 19, I still don't know what the hell I was doing in there. <laughs> Why am I doing this is what I was asking. But hey, I, I don't think I was good in season as Conley was. But hey, I give this round, it, it, it's, it's a back and forth round right here, man. It could come down to the last 10 seconds again. Nice, Conley with the return, nice. Swindle back. This is back and forth, people, I'm telling you. You was not you was not wrong. Devin has creeped up at lunch. He had something good at lunch. Y'all ain't telling us what it was, but he's calling these fights. He's calling fight of the night. Ooh, nice sweep. Beautiful their body Man. shot there by Gavin. Left hook to the body. Conley is taking this. He knows he lost the first round. 
the boxing experience, the cardio, the comfortability is kicking in, I think. Swindle is looking nice. Hey, I'm looking at you again. Wow. One, round two. one. One, one. Going into the third. Definitely the last half of round two definitely started becoming a little bit of a brawl. Let's just yes. test ourselves, guys. Beautiful round there. Gavin Conley, Anson Swindle. Both guys have big, big shots in the second round. I think Conley picked it up in the last 30 seconds, stole that round. We're going 50 50 in the third. I love it. You definitely, you nailed it there with, uh, I think, JC. Uh, I mean, uh, with Ethan and Chase, the yes. fight before. And uh, we might be on a Brock Weaver uh, teaser right now. Okay, let's go. Conley says he does not even need water. He doesn't need a corner to tell him what to do. He knows what to do. He sees the man. He look, He sees something we don't see. Let's see who takes, who takes the middle, who takes this round, who takes the fight. Nice little check hook to Anson. Didn't land, but I definitely like the... Uh, He's still thinking. He's still thinking it. Wow, Gavin's going nice to work jab. right now. Nice block, block, jab. Nice slip. Hey. Good jab right there by Anson. This is a good fight, man. Nice jab by Conley. Ooh, nice uppercut. Conley said it's nothing. He's coming. Uh. Anson's oh, starting nice. to put more power shots nice together. Roll. Oh, hey, I think he knocked a little spit in my eye. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, nice. That left hook would have landed. This isn't like Jurassic Park where objects are closer than they appear. Man. We are right in front of the action here at the Island Fight 70 at the Pensacola Bay Center. Oh, overhand landed by Conley. Swindle is still there. He acted like it didn't even phase him. Straight warrior, man. Still pumping the jab. He loves the jab, his corner says. He's still pumping the jab. Head movement before he throws. He's calling it out. Let's see if he listens. <laughs> nice slip. They're still thinking, man. I am impressed by Swindle coming from the MMA background, boxing being his weakness. He has looked like he's been in, he's been in the office, man. He's been working. Conley, Conley's doing his thing, man. Always. Great fight, great fight. Yes. Horrible that we're going to have a loser here, but this is going down yes. to the last 20 seconds of this fight. Again, right here. We're going to see who wants it. Who wants this fight? 1-1. One, one. Uh. Beautiful body shot yes. there by Gavin. Oh, nice jab. Nice. Man, 10 seconds. Oh. Hey. Wow. Nice. They delivered the last 30 seconds each round. Very close fight. What do you got, Dave? Very close. Um, I think I might be leaning Gavin a little bit there. I think he had yeah. uh, more shots, yeah. more cleaner shots. Probably a better last 20, 30 seconds of the fight. Yeah. But ultra close. Man. Ultra close fight. <laughs> I'm going to call that with you. But Swindle has impressed me. He's been in the office. He's, he was thinking the whole time. Kids all he heart. was landing a jab. All heart. His two was landing. Hey, nice. nice. <laughs> he nice. promised me one thing. He said the nose would be a little red, a little bloody. It is broke. He delivered. It is broke. <laughs> it is broke, baby. Hey, he delivered. He delivered, man. But like I said, like you said, I think Conley might have got a split decision here. Uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm calling. Who knows, though? Judges, mate, you're never supposed to leave it in the judges' hand, and we never know what's going to gonna happen there. Either way, kind of thinking back on it, great learning experience by both fighters. Gavin to get that rounds in at 19, and then Swindle to get it at 31, but to go in the boxing scene, really kind of test himself. Beautiful night by both guys. Beautiful. Beautiful, yes. Like I said, man, I all respect to Swindle. Guy is a warrior to come get out boxing his MMA fight and said, hey, I'm going to put the boxing boots on check, check. and I'm going I'm to do what they don't expect me to do and I'm going to do it good. I like that. I like that. And he probably got his nose broke on purpose <laughs> because he told you. I love it.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. Here are the scores. 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. to 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from the red corner, Kevin Conley! Wow, great fight. Didn't see a 30-27, but an absolutely with great winner, fight. Gavin Conley. You know, Gavin, you took a fight against Anson Swindle. I mean, he's been doing a lot of MMA. He's an experienced cat. Um, and you went out there, you just did what you do. You outboxed this man. Um, and even though he's got probably more ring experience than you, you went out there and put on a show tonight. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, I knew he was experienced. I knew he had what it takes. He's a tough fighter. I watched a ton of his fights. And... Uh, you know, I just knew what to expect. I knew he was long. I had to be smart. Had to time him real good. He got some good shots, but at the end of the day, I got more points, so that's what it takes. And was this the game plan coming in just to go out there and outpoint him? You know, we've seen you come in here and work, man. When are we going to see that big knockout punch, brother? It's coming. We're working on it. We're just perfecting my craft a little bit, working on the things I do wrong. And then soon enough, it'll be knockout after knockout. Knockout after knockout. You heard it right here on the broadcast. Knockout after knockout coming in the future. Y'all give it up one more time for your man, Gavin Conley. <laughs>